Hey you guys, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make Ozempic oatmeal. It's a delicious way to crush your hunger and start losing weight right away. Plus, the side effects are, you're gonna lower your cholesterol, reduce your blood sugar, reduce your chance of dying of heart disease, reduce your chance of getting cancer, and it's gonna put a smile on your face. So, let's jump right in. All right, so let's get started making some oatmeal. First, you gotta start off with the oatmeal. I like using old-fashioned oats because they are, um, you know, big and flat and so they, they take up more space. I only use one quarter cup rather than the serving size of a half a cup. Um, I throw in my favorite wheat germ. You guys probably know by now I'm a big wheat germ fan. It's life extending. It's got tons of nutrients. It uh, has vitamin E. It has fiber. So we'll throw that aside. I'm going to like the flaxseed. Um, again, tons of nutrients, omega-3 fatty acids, fiber, um, lignans, which help prevent colon cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, good stuff. Um, I like using this Elizabeth's um, granola. It's chocolate sea salt. This is just a personal preference. Choose your own. I just take about a handful. I mean, just a very small handful, probably less than half a serving. This stuff is pretty caloric. For a third of a cup, it's 130 calories. I'm getting maybe half a third of a cup. Um, I like using goji berries. I don't know if you guys have ever tried them. They're really good at preventing macular degeneration. I got them initially for my mom because she's got macular degeneration. And um, I thought I'd give them a try. They're really yummy. So I just kept them and I put them in my oatmeal every day. I figure I'm getting older, so I don't want to suffer macular degeneration. Um, they're also good for helping prevent, you know, sun damaged skin and stuff like that. So, um, all right. So now the first kind of unique ingredient that I throw in is this, um, chocolate protein smoothie. Um, it's really just a replacement for milk. I don't drink milk. I, I you know, I eat whole food plant based for the most part. Um, this just adds moisture and you know, I'm kind of a chocolateholic, so I like chocolate and this is like a very creamy chocolate that I throw in. I mix it up, pop it in the microwave for about one minute and then we are good to go. All right, so while that's being cooked in the microwave, let me just tell you really quickly why I call this Ozempic oatmeal. So the makers of Ozempic are not geniuses. All they did was take a look at what are the deficiencies in the American diet that could be leading to obesity. It doesn't take a lot of time to narrow it down to you've got protein, fat, carbohydrates, or your macronutrients, but also one that people have been overlooking for the last 30 or 40 years is the importance of fiber in our diet. So they focused their attention on what does fiber do chemically in our body. And, it, and what it basically does is it creates a lot of GLP-1. So then they just did some reverse math, found some drug that they could make that would create GLP-1 in our systems, and now they're selling it at $1,350 a month. We don't need to spend $1,300 a month to put a lot of fiber into our guts. So that's what this smoothie does. It's gonna give you about 15 grams of fiber in one serving. It's gonna fill you up. You're not gonna be hungry for at least six or seven hours. Um, your body's gonna be loaded with nutrients and uh, yeah, you're gonna feel great. So let's get this, finish it up. All right, so the next ingredients that I use is uh, my favorite cocoa whip. So cocoa whip is basically just cream coconut. I think it's uh, 30 calories per two tablespoons. I probably put about, I don't know, maybe four or five tablespoons in here. It does have a little bit of sugar, but you know, life goes on, let's get over it. It's not gonna kill you. It makes it really good though. All right, now comes the real stuff. So blueberries, anthocyacins, anthocyacins. I've got such a trouble with that word. It's like my tongue doesn't want to say it. Anthocyacins, um, very high in blueberries. Of course, lots of other nutrients, including tons of fiber, um, anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory. I mean, it's just good stuff all the way around. I could go on and on and on about blueberries, but let's get on with it. Next one, raspberries. I probably put about I don't know, eight or nine raspberries in there. Um, tons of fiber in raspberries, but also very nutrient dense. Um, it's almost like a free food because uh, the fiber in there is almost completely undigestible. So it goes right through to your colon. Um, I like blackberries because they're loaded with nutrients as well. Usually the darker the food, the more nutritious it's gonna be. 
I'll put a list of all the nutrients in these foods in the description so you can see just how loaded with nutrition this is. And then finally, I put my favorite strawberries. Um, strawberries high in fisetin, um, which is a very important DNA protectant. It's also got lots of vitamin C. It's got lots of uh, fiber. I cut mine up. I quarter them if they're really big or I just cut them in half if they're kind of small and just sprinkle them on top. All right, I won't, I won't make you watch me cut up all these strawberries, but anyway. So that's basically it. It's nutritious, it's delicious, it's loaded with fiber. It'll help generate lots of GLP-1 in your gut. You're gonna be full and satisfied for hours and you're gonna really have a great day. Now, you can you know, obviously customize this, but the trick to this is getting as much fiber in your diet as possible. If you can do that, you can control your weight. All right, you guys, that's all I've got. I hope you enjoy my Zempic oatmeal, and I'll see you in the next one.